This video demonstrates the technique for priming the HLS ECMO circuit in the Alfred ICU. Different institutions will have different methods for priming ECMO circuits, so please only use the method that is approved at your institution or by the manufacturer. Priming an ECMO circuit is a skill that should be learned by observation and deliberate practice. This video is not designed to be a standalone training video for priming an ECMO circuit, it's designed to be a refresher. The HLS Cardio Help system does not require pre-priming. It is designed to be primed at the time of ECMO commencement. Therefore, sterile attire and CO2 priming are not required. All circuit connections, however, should be performed with a no-touch technique. First, gather the equipment required. You will need a Cardio Help pump, an HLS box with a disposable circuit, three three-way taps with extension tubing, a 20ml syringe, and two litres of normal saline. First, place the cardio help arm in the up position and connect the red combined pump oxygenator module to the cardio help. Leave the de airing port or yellow cap off. Add the three way taps with extension tubing to the pre and post oxygenator ports. Connect the integrated sensor cable, which measures temperature and pressure, to the HLS module. Connect the flow probe, which is also a bubble sensor, to the return line. Ensure the direction of flow is correct. Ensure the venous probe is connected to the initializing station on the blue handle. Lower the cardio help arm and place the sterile tray on top. It should sit securely. The contents of this tray should remain sterile. Now to complete the circuit, Hang the priming bag, or alternatively use the dedicated priming board to hang the priming bag on. Move both ends from the sterile tray tubing and the priming lines and then connect them to each other. Clamp the blue outlet of the priming bag. Now it's time to zero the pressures. Turn the cardio help on and zero the pressures by entering the pressure setting and performing a zero. Now it's time to prime the circuit. Connect the filling line to the normal saline and transfer about 2 litres of saline into the priming bag. Ensure that the stop cock on the priming bag is open to allow it to fill. Now ensure adequate elevation of the priming bag, at least 60 cm above the console, and allow priming to occur passively by opening all clamps. Wait for priming to occur. Now run the pump at around 3000 rpm for at least 2 minutes, and then 4000 rpm for an additional 1 minute. Purge all of the 3-way taps using your 20ml syringe. Ensure all air is removed from the circuit. No air should be visible and the pump should be virtually silent. Finally, close the de-airing port using the yellow cap. Remove the cap from the oxygen connector and stop the pump. The pump is now ready for connection to the patient by handing the sterile tray to the cannulator.